We're gonna. We are pulling out of Afghanistan. Does it matter to anyone? <laughs> Does anyone? You give matters a shit? to the people who are in Afghanistan. We have been fighting in Afghanistan for twenty fucking years. We have sent now sent so many people to Afghanistan to fight that we currently have kids in Afghanistan whose fathers fought in Afghanistan and now they are fighting in Afghanistan. Afghanistan and is we're the, leaving. Let me we're tell just you. rolling out. We're not we're we're like adios, motherfucker. We're not there's no like checking out. There's no like, hey, here's this, here's that. We're leaving shit. We're leaving guns. We're leaving fucking tanks. We're we're just we're like, goodbye. We're Afghanistan going. is the meet me outside of Earth. Like, hey, you pissed me off? Meet me outside. We go to Afghanistan and we settle it there. Everyone just meets in that dirt hole and they just fucking fight no it out. No one's been able to win a war in Afghanistan ever. They're, well, I mean... They're, they're fighting no on horseback against <laughs> fucking nuclear cap capability countries. <laughs> and they're winning every time. It's just you cannot out. fucking beat them. Look, they will not them. fucking they stop people. fighting. No. They, 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 if you're if you're Afghanistan, if you're born in Afghanistan, if you are an Afghanistan citizen, you are born with the ability to fight to the death. It's really the only <laughs> thing you know how to do. I would love to be in an Afghanistan school and see what the fuck they're teaching those kids. Because right. I'm sure what they're telling them is we get invaded by everybody. Already, we're getting ready to leave. We've been there 20 years killing fucking people. I don't even know how many people we've killed. I'm sure we can look up how many Afghanistan people we've killed since we've been there. We've killed a shitload of them. There's already like seven other awful fucking countries that are getting ready the second we leave to invade Afghanistan and attack the fucking people of Afghanistan. And the Afghanistan people are sitting there and they're like, fucking bring it on. What the fuck? We just kicked the sh we just kicked America out. We just outlasted the American army. Yeah. Bring it on. Iraq, go ahead. Russia, go ahead. China, go ahead. We don't give a fuck. We're Afghanistan. We were when we're on fucking horseback and we're gonna fucking win. Well, I can tell you this. Uh Watson.brown.edu says two hundred and forty one thousand people have been killed in Afghanistan and Pakistan insane. war since two thousand one. More than 71,000 of those killed have been civilians. That's insane. Imagine That's insane. killing 71,000 Think how many civilians. fucking pissed off fucking family members there are. Well, yeah, there's a generation, at right. least one generation of pissed off family members. Exactly. Exactly. It's so wild. Yeah. But but the, but here's, here's my question, because on, on the news all day long, they're like, oh, this is so stupid. We should be, what, you, tell me a solution to that problem. Staying there longer? For what? Yeah, How much well. longer do we stay there? And what are we actually trying to accomplish? Here's what I've heard about. It. The Afghanistan people all fucking hate each other. Right. They're all fighting with each other. There's no unification among them. They have, well, why is it that Iran is out there in the middle of all of this and Iran hates fucking everybody? You can't go to Iran. Like, let me well, tell you, I'll if you tell wanted you, to just go the there. One, the one thing that unifies, not. So I'll tell you the one thing that unifies all of these fucking countries now. And it, I don't, feel like it was like this my whole life but now they are literally i feel like all over the world looking at each other and saying to themselves look i know we don't like each other but we both fucking hate americans we fucking hate americans and even yeah. though even though we're not going to get along let's try to come up with some fucking shit we can do that'll just piss them off we can't they can't beat us Nobody is going to invade America. Right. Nobody is going to beat us in a war on our home turf. No. Nah. Here, when we're at home, we're good. We're you're you're not coming here and beating us. And I don't give a shit if you're China, fucking Russia, right. whatever. You ain't coming over here and fucking beating us. We're going to defend our land down to the last fucking American is going to stand there and be like, "Come on, motherfuckers!" So we're good. But they want to. They always want to draw us overseas into some shit and then they'd love to do like a tiny little dink we <laughs> blew up a building right boom we right. blew up a plane it's a, boom. yeah we did you know they, they they'll plan for 30 fucking years one little thing that they can do just to get 
some guys over here, they pretend they're American and True. pretend they're having a good time and pretend they're loving their life and then they'll do some some crazy shit. That that's hard to that's hard to yeah. fight, but you can't win you can't win that with a no. war. You certainly can't win that by going over and killing seventy one thousand civilians. What the yeah. fuck? Think about how many of those were kids. A lot. And what would you do if a, a, a country invaded our country and started murdering our children and being like, well, that's just the cost of freedom. Right. That's the price you paid for freedom. It's, it's I'd be crazy, like, motherfucker, man. the price I paid for freedom is not the death of my fucking child. That's right. not freedom. This is freedom. Murdering my child is not freedom. And so, I, you know, yeah, we should just leave. And, we, and, and, and I think... Fuck giving notice. Fuck telling, you know, look, it's your, you think Afghanistan is suddenly going to unify? They're going to be over there fighting anyway. They're going to yeah, be fighting they each other. They're gonna keep, whoever goes in there. It's true. Russia was in Afghanistan most of my childhood and they could not fucking win. And it was a, it was an international joke that the Afghanistans were beating the shit out of Russia. We, we, we used to laugh about it when I was a kid. They were like, man. Well, we also have, like, as the United States has rules of engagement, we have, like, we have war, but we also have, like, a civilized version of war. And if you fight somebody that does not have rules of engagement, what? That you know, they don't give a shit. They're like, all right, well, hey. How old is that kid? Seven. Give him a gun. Send him in there. Right. See what he can do. Right. And over here, we're like, all right, don't shoot at him unless they shoot at you not first. Just give him a gun, buddy. They'll strap a bomb to oh, his yeah. ass and just, have him you walk know. in and pretend like he's right. friends so, with everybody. And he'll he'll. he'll the he'll, reason you'll never defeat someone. Yeah, you can't uh, beat anybody you like can't that. Beat like that. Yeah, no. we're playing one game and they're playing right. a game with no rules. Yeah. That, and so and that, you're, you're, that by the way, just just to throw another topic out there, rules of war. Has got to be one of the dumbest fucking things I've ever heard in my entire life. There are literally, there are literally people that think they're so powerful and high and mighty that they got together at the Geneva Convention and came together from around the world, and they're so rich and so powerful and so fucking amazing and so impressed with themselves that they sat down and they wrote out a list of rules for. War. And let me assure you that while these dumbass motherfuckers were sitting around writing out the rules of fucking war, not one single fucking one of them was in any jeopardy of having to ever fight in an actual fucking war. And that's True. the thing that's the thing always about war. I watched this um this this series on YouTube before and it was like they it was a a they do like a a young person in a in a thing and an old person. It's like Someone who fought in, say, the Afghan War was was having an interview with someone who fought World War II kind of thing. And, like, what was the difference of of the years, like 50 years or something, right, between these two men or whatever it was. And I remember one of the guys in, that was talking about, like, I don't know if it was World War II or it was, it was definitely out there. It was an older war because the guy was in his 80s. And he's like, at some point, you're just a dude in a field with another dude. And the only reason that you are going to kill that dude is because your country wants you to kill that dude. And the only reason he is going to kill you is because his country wants him to kill you. And, first of and all, if we me... just met at a coffee shop, neither one of us would right. want to kill each other. Bro, not, it's, it's, and it's not even a country that wants you to do it. It's some rich fucking prick. It's some rich ass mother. Let, let me tell you something. There ain't no fucking Afghanistan dude ever done shit to me. I've That's never true. had a problem with an Afghanistan guy. I don't know life. that I've ever met one. I, I, I mean, I don't know that. Yeah, I don't know that it's possible to make it out of Afghanistan. I don't well, know that if you're born bad. in Afghanistan. I believe. I would guess at this point, in my entire life, there's always been a war in Afghanistan. Yeah. Always. Whether it was Russia, whether it was us, whether it was them fighting each other, there's always been. I would yeah, guess yeah. they just they just wake up and fight, and they're not necessarily making it anywhere. But I'm saying, in terms of myself, uh, you know, I, I haven't I haven't fought a, 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 an Afghanistan person, and I don't understand why. When we go to war, it's not our country that's sending people to war. It's old, rich-ass people that don't want their old, rich-ass fucking shit 
fucked up by other people. And I'm just right. saying, man, we, we could run, the world could be better. Yeah. The world could be better. 